So in this video, we are going to see how we can implement auto grab in our fishlet. What is the auto grab? Let's say this is your phishing link and in the phishing link, if you enter hash email address after that, then what will happen? Whatever the site for we are creating fishlet for, it will automatically take that particular email and it will put into the login place. Let me show you one example. Let's say we are opening the site called firefire.in. Okay, this is quite simple site, but for example, Please try to understand this is the site. When we open the login page, can you see we saw we have the field called right here, which is email. Okay. So if we use the autograph in our fishlet uh, or you can say in your evilgenic setup, then what will happen? Whatever the email we are entering, it will appear automatically here. Okay. So how exactly we can do that? So first of all, let me show you my phishing link. So let me go here and just copy this particular part which is my phishing link and let me just paste it right here and it should load the phishing website on taste.1yt.1 okay the website is loading uh really great but what is happening is it's not redirecting to the login page so what i will do i'll just click on the login page i will copy this particular path go back to the my fishlet and just modify the fishlet login path with this one okay so this is the part where we are done okay now next thing is we need to implement the auto grab if you remember i have one website which is called fluxet.com where i have already given the solution so that's the solution we are going to use in this video also okay let's give some time because my internet connection is slow because of the vpn okay uh, let me type auto grab and let me hit enter button and implementing auto grab into the fishlet the dedicated uh the thread is created by the way there are a lot of threads but you can pick any because all of them threads are answered so can you see i'm saying right here inject this particular script but total uh configuration in the evil genes uh fishlet is not given right here in this question so what we can do is we can move to the next question right here and here i should have given everything let me just check it no in this section is also it's not there okay here it is given so let me just copy as it is go back here and add that here okay now the autograph i have given is for the different website so we cannot use it so we need to modify it so trigger domain is going to be obviously the website that we are going to use which is uh firefy.in okay and the trigger path is going to be slash slash means every single path and trigger parameters there is no need for trigger parameters to uh, add additional complex so basically we are executing this particular code on dom content loaded that means whenever the website content is loaded or dom is loaded then only this function will be fired what is the function the first function is fragment which will be responsible for getting the email address from the url the second function is username or uh, the variable uh, where we are going to say either email username whatever it is and if the username is present then we are going to add that username into the element called email we element which has id email okay or name email it depends on the website to website so let's do one thing let's modify this particular for our website okay so very first thing we need to go to the website which is our website firefy.in so if i right click here and inspect element here it will show you the source code and it is saying type email name login okay so that means this is the name login which is unique in this particular page that we can use for locating the that particular field okay so let me just go back right here and let's say uh, we need to document get element by name and name is going to be the name okay so right now it is saying get element elements by name so that's why i have to use zero that means the very first element whatever is captured and we are going to set the values for that particular element now in order to check this particular code is working or not what we are going to do is in this particular url the original url uh, which is this one the firefy.in in this particular url we are going to add hash and i'll say info at uh, fluxet.com okay that's the email we are going to use okay and we are going to inspect element okay and once we inspect we need to go to the console and here we need to type allow pasting that will allow us paste the javascript into the console so let me go ahead and let me copy the function first which is fragment and go here and paste it as it is so right now it is saying allow pasting again 
so let me allow paste again let me paste the code let me go back one more time and this time i will say username get fragment okay and let me paste that code here one more time now i can verify if the username is captured or not and if i hit enter can you see the values is coming that means the username is captured so i hope my screen is clearly visible okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to check if the username is there and if it is there then we need to add into the input field okay so let me just paste this particular code and can you see the automatically this particular field has been filled let me remove and let me enter one more time and here the email will appear okay this is how it works okay so it should work in the fishlet also as it is working right here so let me just save the fishlet exit from this and restart the evil genix and let me copy the link and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to add hash info at fluxet.com at the end of the uh that particular link okay this is how it looks by the way let me go ahead and let me copy whole thing go to the new page open the new tab right here and hit enter and this time we do nothing it should automatically take that particular uh email and it should automatically enter that particular email into the our input field okay so let's wait for some time and uh, there is a problem it's not working so first of all we need to check if the code is injected or not it's okay if the code is not working but first see if the code is injected or not okay so let me go to the inspect go to the debugger and inside debugger you will find folder name with the name s and here is a random file so in this file we should have right here the code injected whatever we are using into the inject js right here okay okay this is the code supposed to appear in this particular file but it is not appearing that means something is wrong we are missing something so first of all the trigger paths so i think we are using the exactly right trigger path uh, the trigger parameter is not needed the script is also uh, quite good the trigger domain is also right let me see if the website is using uh ww or not no it's not using ww so every single thing is right so why it's creating the problem i also don't know so let's do some trial and error so let me just add right here and i'll say right here slash everything okay so this is how i'm going to see if i can solve okay let me go ahead let me exit from this one restart the evangelist go back copy the uh exactly same url that i have prepared go to the new tab this tab and right here paste it and this time let's see if we can see if the code is injected or not okay okay the folder is appeared the file is appeared but the code is not injected one more time so maybe the path problem is there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy whole path and i'm going to add as it is okay so let me just go back by the way this is supposed to work in whatever the current situations i am giving okay and the trigger parameters i don't think so it's needed so i'll just remove from here because it is creating uh, unnecessary uh, you know confusions so let me go here let me go here and paste okay yes is there and now inside that folder the random folder is created and now the whole script is there and this time automatically it added the uh, this particular username also right so let's do one thing let's open one private tab new private window and here let's add this particular paste this particular link and let's see one more time so that we'll come to know it is working for sure okay so right now it's loading and can you see the info at fluxet.com is created okay now it's working in this particular case this website is quite simple but this website is not designed into the react js it's designed into the django okay so that's why it has static html pages which is helping uh, this particular script to execute uh, on the time and adding this particular info at fluxet.com or username whatever the username is uh, in the time okay 
but in some cases it might not happen how so let's say there is a one website which is designed into the react js okay so in that case there is a high chance that the website will load asynchronously that's why the time between dom content loaded will not match to the uh, time to the when the script is getting executed okay so when i refresh this particular page as soon as it, the page is loading the input fields are getting created okay so that's why it is easy to inject this particular username right here but in case of the react website it does not happen okay so let me show you one demo with the react website there is one react template called minimalist okay minimalist uh, cc demo i think let me just search for that okay this is the react website it's a quite popular demo for the react front end so right now can you see this particular website is completely loaded when i click on the sign in the page is not refreshed okay just it is uh, fetching uh, sorry uh, redirecting you to the login page but the actual page is not refreshed okay this icon doesn't move okay so in that case the dom content loaded event will fire on the last page which is right here but we need to inject the script on this page which is right here and no one is going to refresh this particular page so we are basically stuck here so in this special case uh, there will be the issue while injecting the autogram or while implementing the autogram so how exactly we can handle that let me show you how so first of all i have given the answer for this one also let me go to the website and let me show you yeah here the answer is so what we are going to do is so dom content loader is creating the problem it is executing the script way before the actual login page is appearing that means the input fields are not even created at that time this particular dom content loader is executing the script so what we are going to do is we are going to replace this particular dom content loader with something else so let me show you with what so in this particular script can you see what it is doing it is creating the lp uh, function and it is injecting the lp function after some time again and again until it's complete so exactly that what uh, the logic we are going to use so we are going to use this particular fragment function so let's say this fragment function is not needed to put inside because it can be executed anytime as it is going to be just called after some time now there is a const username and injecting functionality this is the functionality which we want to execute uh, after a certain period of the time so let me just paste that functionality right here and this is the our code that we are going to use okay so let me remove all of this code let me add my code let me add into the right syntax let me save it exit from this restart the evil genetics go back here let me copy this particular url that i'm using for testing and right here i'm going to uh, just add that code okay so first we are going to test on this particular website and second i don't know you test if you have permission for minimalistic test here otherwise there is no need for this okay this logic will work i am pretty much sure okay so this is working right here okay so yeah this way you can avoid uh, fails so this way basically you can inject the uh, or implement the autograph functionality in any kind of website no matter if it is react website no matter if it is normal website okay